Hi guys, I'm Elise and you're watching the I Fucking Love Science Show. So, what's been happening in science this week? Well, we might have a new element. The as yet unnamed element is super heavy and has an atomic number of 115. It was first proposed a decade ago, but scientists believe they have now confirmed its existence. Now it's up to the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry to decide if we have a new addition to the periodic table or if further testing is required. For the very first time we've managed to observe and film a boa constrictor catching and devouring a howler monkey. While we do know that primates are predated upon, it's really rarely observed because they live in such big groups and they can share the duties of watching out for predators. This monkey wandered away from her group and was quickly nabbed by the boa constrictor. Her companion briefly tried to fight it off but quickly realised he was fighting a losing battle. A new species of walking shark has been discovered in Indonesia. It's a type of bamboo shark which use their pectoral and pelvic fins to walk across the ocean floor. Researchers successfully used stem cells and gene therapy to repair damaged heart muscle cells. After a heart attack, the affected area becomes encased in scar tissue and stops beating. Using a cocktail of five different genes, the researchers managed to transform the scarred tissue into beating heart cells. This technique has previously been successfully trialled in mice. This experiment took it one step further and managed to successfully treat human cells in the laboratory. As I'm sure you know, heart disease is the biggest killer in the Western Hemisphere, so hopefully this could lead to effective treatments for damaged heart muscle cells after a heart attack. Scientists have successfully performed the first non-invasive brain-to-brain -brain interface between humans. One researcher sent a brain signal over the internet to a colleague and controlled his hand motions. This has previously been demonstrated between non-human animals, but this is thought to be the first time it's been achieved between two humans. I'm particularly interested to hear your thoughts on this story in the comments, so let me know what you think. And for my final story of the week, I'm very sad to report that the first man to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong, has passed away for the second time. Yes, ever the overachiever, Neil was simply not happy with one death, so he came back this week to give it another go. For some reason, a full year after his death, R.I.P. Neil Armstrong began trending on Twitter and several dozen people linked me to an article from 2012 announcing his death. A couple of them even berated me for not making a post marking the passing of this great man. To these people, I can only apologise. It won't happen again. That's all for this week, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week.